Good day everyone, I am Noemi Afrabino together with Saira M. Morris and we will be discussing about the family. So I will be the one to discuss the characteristics of a Filipino and its function. The family pattern will be discussed by Saira. First, let me define that word family. We all have our own definitions of family, but generally, it is defined as the basic unit in a society and it is composed of parents and their children. Every country has their culture and tradition that is family-related, but we Filipino family firmly believe that our country has the best values in the world. We are not perfect, but have you ever wondered why being in a Filipino family is one of the best experience in our lives? Let me discuss to you the characteristics of a Filipino family that we should be proud of. In a global settings, Filipino are known to be hospitable, respectful, um, strong family ties and religious, religions, generosity and helpfulness, strong work ethic, and love and caring. That's the positive side. And being hospitable, Filipinos are known to be hospitable because of their unconditional support towards the people other people most of them welcome their visitors wholeheartedly and really care about them they offer food most of the time just to make them comfortable another good thing is that the most of the filipinos are respectful especially to their elders respecting other people that is older than them is one of the values thought at their young ages Saying po and opo is how Filipinos show their respect. Aside from that, they also show respect by practicing the gesture called mano, where they put the back of the hand of an elder on their forehead. Strong family next is the strong family ties or being family oriented is a value that we cannot detach in a Filipino family. Even though members of the family are busy, they still make sure to lend some time to bond to make the relationship stronger. Most of them are also religious. They put God on the, the center of their f lives and worship Him. Filipino family is also known for its generosity and being helpful. We all experience hardship in life, but we are always willing to help even if we have... We are also in our lowest point. We tend to give to, their, to other people even though there is nothing left for ourselves. It's like being selfless. Being workaholic can be both positive and negative trait of a Filipino. Positive in a way that they give their best in every step they make. They really work hard just to earn for a living and provide the needs and wants of their family. It is viewed as negative because we sometimes forget to take care of ourselves because we want to work hard and that might affect our health. And neglecting our health will put us in danger in the future. Lastly, Filipino are known as loving and caring person. We gave our all to our loved ones and we really care about them. In fact, some foreigners want to marry Filipino because of their undying and sincere love for them. That's the positive characteristics. And this is the negative naman characteristics of a Filipino. Of course, there is no such thing as perfect in this world. Filipinos also have negative traits such as fatalism and having crab mentality. Fatalism can be good at some time because... You just want to accept what will come and what will happen in your life. But doing nothing is to ch not doing nothing to change it because of fatalism will not help us to improve ourselves. And next is crab mentality. It is the well-known negative trait of Filipinos. They bring others down just to get the spotlight that they want. So. That's the negative, uh, the positive and negative characteristics of a Filipino family. Let me proceed to the functions of family. Family is not just a simple group or unit in society. They also have functions that will help both the family and community. Its primary functions is to socialize their children. 
the parents are the first teachers that the children will encounter. Aside from how to talk, read, and count, the parents also teach them how to communicate with other people. They teach them like that because they are not with their children in all time. Family also provides practical and emotional support. Parents provide their parents their basic necessities such as food, shelter, clothes, etc. Aside from that, they also comfort them with it's needed. Our family should be our primary source of emotional support. Another function of the family is the regulations of sexual activities and reproduction. There is a right time for everything and our family should enlighten the guide us uh, should be in li- should enlighten and guide us in that manner matter. Lastly, our social identity first came from our family. Our status in a society is based on our family, social class, race, ethnicity and religions now that you are already now that you already know the characteristics of a filipino family and its functions let us now proceed to the next topic that will be discussed by miss saira morris family patterns a characteristic quality of the relationship between the members of a particular family between parents and children. Family composition has affected children's lives in important ways. The size and structures of the family and its capacity to sustain itself has played a critical role in how children are raised, their level of formal educational and whether or not they participate in the labor force. How have family patterns changed with time? Families have changed over the past 30 years, with marriage rates down and divorce rates up. There are an increasing number of children growing up. In solo parent or reconstituted families, solo parents' families are of particular concern due to the high incidence of poverty among such households. Different types of families are there. We have the family, single parent families, families headed by two unmarried partners, either of the opposite sex or the same sex, household that include one or more family members from a generation, adopted families, foster families, families where children are raised by their grandparents and other relatives. What are some family patterns? Some families are warm or other school are extremely close and symbiotic. In others, the members keep each other at a distance. Some are open to friends and relatives. Others are not. In some, one or more children are accepted. In others, one or more children are distanced or otherwise rejected. Family is based on emotion and sentiments, mating, procre- procreation, maternal and fraternal devotion, love and affection are the basis of family ties. Each family is made up of different social roles like those of husband, wife, mother, father, children, brothers, or sisters. So this is the end of our discussion, sir. I hope everyone learned something. So thank you for watching and have a good day.